Over here, Yagami-san! Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. You wanted to talk to me? About Mikoshiba-sensei? What? I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> So many of you. You guys all know Mikoshiba-sensei? Nah, that's not how our senpai friends roll. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Yokohama Liumon? You mean the local gang? Hell yeah. I've got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with, and they scratch mine by tipping me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Also, We've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liumong name if I need him to handle some business. So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? You need to find better friends. Don't talk to me like you know me. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. So you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. I'll keep that in mind, but I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. You get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liumang, and they'll take that personally. You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? So how about it? You know how to say you're sorry? Cash for our pain and suffering. Oh yeah? How much are we talking here? Grand? A mill. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan shark. I know a guy who lends for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First it's gang, now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this, I'm gonna start treating you like one. Huh? You wanna see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. You sure you wanna do that? We're gonna charge you extra. Oh, you got this shit down, Matsui. <laughs> Let's take this asshole down! Fuck him up! Really, guys? Ah, my eyes! Cheap shot. <laughs> Can't see! Got you now! No, you don't! Did he just jump off? Nah. He's just hiding in the dark. Like a scared little cockroach. You guys go look for him and tell me when you find him. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. 
<laughs> you got this in the bag. Uh, Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. <laughs> we'll all smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around, and the coolest. Ah, oh, well. All for my adorable little underlings. Tastes good, senpai? Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? <laughs> so you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Hey, Akane! Go get the other senpais! Uh, okay, I'm on it. You guys better watch out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? On the other hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners, and I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding! <laughs> now what? And that mouth of yours won't get you out of this! I'm taking you down! Don't give me that smug look! He's a maniac. He's too good at this, man. Hey, you mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. Uh, that still sound like a good idea? No, we were just being stupid. Could you maybe forget all that? Then from here on out, we're buds, right? Ow! Ow my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! Tell me everything you know about Mikoshiba. 
After all, you guys were pretty close, right? Mikoshiba Sensei showed up to practice, like, basically every day. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do, like, ten sets of cross-court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant ten more. For all of us. That made it obvious real quick. Koda was our weakest link. So Mikoshiba was especially harsh on her, then? Yeah, because she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. <laughs> Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey, you think maybe Koda did it? Some kind of crime of passion? This isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Uh, nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa Sensei yet? He probably knows Mikashiba Sensei better than anyone. All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher. And that he looked out for you guys, out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? Why, something off about that? Uh, it's just... Sawa Sensei was really cold to him. No matter what he'd do, I actually brought that up to him one day. And it turns out the rumors were right. Rumors? Back when Mikoshiba Sensei was a student, one of his classmates apparently committed suicide. And Sawa Sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Sawa Sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully? Oh, yeah. I actually asked him about it once, but he just laughed it off. I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So, as far as I knew, Mikoshiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? I'll have to press her on it. Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. Suspicious.
Yagami-san, those men are with the Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshiba-kun's disappearance. And they asked to see Sawa-sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? You were asking questions about Mikoshiba-kun as well. I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean... Their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Mikashubakun is... no longer with us, is he? Then it's just as I feared. Two months ago, a young man named Hiro Mikashiba went missing during his stint as a student teacher. Mikashiba quickly becomes the center of attention when his rotting corpse is discovered, and Yagami scours the school for any clues left behind. Rumor has it, Mikashiba drove a classmate to suicide in his student days. A rumor that the school faculty is seemingly unable to deny. Yagami-san, why are you still here? Because I care. Now, if you're open to the idea, you think we could walk and talk? Why? So you can grill me with more questions? You realize the police just finished doing that, yes? I figured they'd come knocking sooner or later. Then you knew Mikoshiba-kun was murdered, didn't you? And that's why you've been snooping around our school. You're not wrong, but can we please take this elsewhere? you knew Mikoshiba was murdered, why didn't you tell me up front? Because that information's not public. Didn't the police ask you to keep quiet about it? Well, yes, but even so... What sort of questions were they asking you anyway? I thought I was supposed to keep quiet. Cute. Now I'm going to ask you one last time. Please, stay off our campus. You don't belong here. I mean, what if you end up injuring a student? It would be a nightmare for all of us. Nobody's getting injured. All that's water under the bridge now. Is that so? Yeah, and I should probably mention, I'm the new advisor of the Mystery Research Club. I have the chairman's approval and everything. So, it looks like I have a place here after all. What? Since when? I think we're getting sidetracked here. Did the police ever mention a suspect? No. All they told me was what happened to Mikoshiba-kun. That he's no longer a missing person. That he's dead. And was dumped in a derelict building. My condolences. That was all we found out. The police were the ones asking the questions, not us. They hardly gave us room to breathe. Yeah, sounds like an interrogation, all right. <sighs> is there anything else? Actually, there is. 
I'd like to know your thoughts on Miko Shibakun's killer. What? For example, take Akihiro Ehara, a man who took this school to court over his son's suicide. Miko Shiba came up even then, as a culprit bearing some responsibility for that. Ehara-san? But he got arrested for that groping incident at the train station. So the police really are keeping their lips sealed. Must you always be so cryptic? It's possible Ehara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's murder. What? Despite being incarcerated for two months, he knew exactly where the corpse would be. He revealed it upon being sentenced. This was before the Kanagawa police had even ID'd the body. Then... was it really Ehara-san? A court would say being in jail is about as solid an alibi as you can get. But he could be connected somehow. How do you know all this, Yagami-san? I'd tell you, but I showed you one of my cards, so now it's your turn. Uh... huh? I've heard you weren't as big a fan of Mikoshiba as you led me to believe. That true? <sighs> this again... You knew he was a bully all along, but yesterday you told me he wasn't the type. I just want to get the story straight here. <sighs> Did you have a sudden change of heart, or were you lying to me for some reason? It's not that simple. Oh, one more thing I learned today. It was Miko Shiba who turned the basketball club against Kodasan. Pretty sadistic for a would-be teacher, don't you think? That's enough. Then it's not a stretch to say he probably was a major factor in the death of Ahara's son four years ago? And I think it's also safe to assume you know more than you're letting on, right? This is murder we're talking about here. Lies aren't doing anyone any favors. <sighs> His name... Was Toshiro. Sorry? Everyone keeps saying Ehara's son, like he's just another statistic. He had a name for heaven's sake. Toshiro. Right. I'm sorry. Now if you'll excuse me, I have papers to grade. Sawa-sensei, please! Nine o'clock tonight. I'll be at Plage on Izazaki Road. We'll finally have a real talk? Something like that. Kaito-san, so I just left the school, and tonight I'm... Wait, where are you? <laughs> Third stop of our bar crawl, that's where. I thought work was done for the night. Licking the wounds of rejection, huh? Is the 99 gang with you? Just Sugiura. Tsukumo said he had to get back to the office to take care of some kind of system trouble. A computer crash or something? I don't know. Something about a buzzy searcher going haywire. I have pretty much tuned it out, man. Anyway, you gotta come take his place? Nah, I gotta stay sober. I'm meeting Sawa-sensei in a bit. You what? God damn it, man! You are killing me today! Would you simmer down? This is work, not whatever it is you're doing. Oh, then I ought to come be your backup. Where are we headed? Come on, you think I need a drunk co-pilot? Knock one back for me, though. Hey. I better not find out you two got it on. Don't do this to me, Tak.
Yagamishi, how was school? Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he'll live. He can cry about it to Sugiura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating, if not perplexing. Yeah, and its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? <laughs> Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased, Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So I was right before. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully, and promptly took Serio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. I thought I'd fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi, do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Oh yeah, that was a real trip. I pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep, and this system I've developed is a souped up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? We'll start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific post was made. So my AI constantly combs through Chatter's database as it updates in real time. Then it extracts only the trouble-related chatter for display on the map. So it actively seeks out trouble? That's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment but directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. Uh, at least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. You sure cracked that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead.
And that should do it. Here you are. Okay, let's see here. Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm, this is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do at all. To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah, by manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. Well, how do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning it'll turn out duds every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. And therein lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. That is, until we all become cyborgs. But that's getting ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, you've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. How about this one? I can smell the trouble brewing already. Oh, interesting. And let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, there's a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old-fashioned eyeballs. Shady activity isn't always the easiest to spot, so maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. What could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. You know what? That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is this? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. A sound collector, huh? I could use this to pick up cries for help or even eavesdrop all over town. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Now, I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. <laughs>